there are moments that you sometimes have to clean up the things people didn't want to hear. You have to redefine certain relationships because people aren't respecting boundaries correctly. Us to build on to more moments, us to bring in more momentum into the work that we're doing. And what are the next chapters of 2024 going to look like for Get Home Safe and all things we have coming up with the people that I'm doing interviews with and just events that we have on the, I'd say borderline is a good word. So <laughs> this recent episode of In My Shoes was not the butters. The butters are a pair of Tim's world known for being in rap videos, for being one of the well, I wouldn't say monolith, but I would say mammoth of a business when it comes to Timberland themselves in terms of boots, because it is winter. So that's one of the most appropriate episodes to stand on. And what does it mean to be from New Jersey? What does it mean to own a pair of butters? <sighs> Why is self-care as a business so expensive? As someone that's within the self-care business, how important is it to pay attention to what's going on when it comes to the market of self-care and what does self-care look like for a person or how do you define and explain self-care to someone without actually saying using the words self-care also bringing back how do we also bring into the focus how we uh, also bring into the focus how we let decisions also bring into the focus how we let decisions from our jobs affect our everyday lives whether we're putting ourselves forward what does that look like why are we not putting ourselves forward and what would it look like to put the focus back on you the worker and the person that drives the force that you've been hired in order to implement or to do and when you get back home do you know how to turn that off even if you're in strikes at home do you know how to turn that off when you're around your kids or you're around your loved ones do you know how to not bring work home and if that's not the case you don't know how to bring work home how does self-care need to be implemented in your life that needs to have a cleaner space for recovery and self-love and self-admiration and taking care of yourself? And what does the maintenance of actually getting back to being human look like? If you want the episode for uh, the butters, hopefully I can put it somewhere in here, either here or here. And if not, the link will be down in the bio. Going from that onto something a little bit uh, more personal in terms of what's going on with me, man, I'm running into a lot of different cases of SI amongst folks who I know personally and folks I may not know personally. Now, when I say SI, SI stands for suicidal ideation. The reason this topic is so prevalent and close to the work that we do is <clears throat> there's a thing that happens when you let people know about the work that you do in different circles that aren't directly correlated or associated with your work. And there are moments that you sometimes have to clean up the things people didn't want to hear. You have to redefine certain relationships because people aren't respecting boundaries correctly. I, as a person and as a friend, try my best to be as honest with the people that are in my life as I can be and with that sometimes there are moments that people find out you do self-care events you do mental health events and you do community events that bring people closer and create peaceful places for people to coexist and maybe put certain things out there that they wouldn't be able to share amongst themselves privately or amongst their friends or associates who may not understand the burden that comes with dealing with these constraints. Not just SI, but the focus of SI is what my main focus for the month of January is right now privately, in terms of folks that may be helping out, giving an air to and giving advice to. So I'll share a private story. One of my boys recently has been, He's been seeing an uptick in SI and how that's been affecting his life and affecting his every day. And outside of that, he's also coming across more health issues and within him letting me know what's going on and I've known what's been going on for a while, 
me and my other guy, we had to have a heart to heart with him and let him know, even though I understand folks who deal with SI and we try to get those people help where we can or connect them with the right people, I'm very big on your community and those closest to you aren't the solution for what's going on. They are a part of the recovery process as to what's going on. And they are a part of the initiative process as to what's going on. So for example, if you have a friend or family member that's dealing with SI in terms of suicidal ideations and it either comes in the form of they are idolizing the way that they're gonna go and then it starts to take a step from ideation into either attempts and if not attempts they are starting to plan things out it's very important to understand when something is above me now and you may not have the capacity for the answers of what's going on when most people are dealing with that or those moments most of us in terms of the general population that's not dealing with that directly, we take their attempt failing or them struggling with the thoughts but no attempts being made as a sign that everything is okay. And everything is indeed not okay. 